Hey guys, what's up, Aragorn here, and welcome to the first episode of 2015. So, recently I put up this video, which was about graphics, and you guys seem to love it, so let's just dive into part two of this mini-series, shall we? Now today's topic is going to be about making money off of graphics, and actually, Mr. Power Syrup over here left a comment on the last video specifically on this topic, which is great. I answered his comment, but I'd like to go into it a bit, in a bit more detail right now. Uh, <laughs> just because I have a form to. I also like syrup, by the way, because I'm Canadian and, you know, maple syrup. <laughs> anyway, a lot of people expect when they start doing graphics, especially on YouTube, is that they'll start making loads of money and get tons of commissions right off the bat. And sadly, that's not always the case. In fact, it's barely ever the case. And that may seem like a sad thing to say, and a lot of people might not like that, but it's the truth. And why, you may ask? Well, it's because, especially in when you get into the arts or anything related to that, people are not going to pay you for work that you have not already proven that you can do well. Trust me, I'm studying architecture in university right now, and the portfolio was like one of the biggest things that you had to make when you were applying uh, for university. I had to make a portfolio for architecture, I had to make a portfolio for arts, and boy, that was uh, that was something. A lot of people will tell you that that is a big thing, and I'm gonna have to keep making them just because of this is just because this is the field in which we are all in. In fact, this doesn't even have to apply to arts. This can apply to anything because whatever you call it, a CV, a portfolio, you have to be able to show that you're able to do work and that you're able to do it well. So talking specifically about graphics, I have one piece of advice for you directly, and that is do your work for free, at least at the beginning. Get a fan base going, get a lot of experience, start forming relationships with customers and with uh, brands or other other creators, and then move from there. Once you've got the grip, then you can pull yourself up over the ledge and then you could start making money. Specifically, I would recommend doing templates. It's a great way to reach a large audience. I would recommend working one-on-one -on -one with people. It's great to get experience working with a customer, and especially if you do it well, you can document the process, show just how well you work with someone uh, on a custom job. If they love the way that you did your work, they'll recommend you to other people. And lastly, I recommend that you just do as much as you can, because experience is experience, okay? And if it's still comfortable to do, if this isn't like taking up a humongous amount of your time, I recommend just doing as much as you can, because it's experience. You'll learn from it. You'll gain friends. You'll gain relationships, business relationships and it's, it's, it's all very good. Once you've got a secure footing, once you've got experience, once people know who you are, then you can start charging. At least that's what I would recommend. It's not to say that you can't start charging right off the bat. A lot of people do. A, lot, a few people have success with it. A lot of people don't. It's up to you. This is my two cents on it, and I hope you guys uh, found this tip helpful. Um, <laughs> I know, I know a lot of people, I know for a few of you this might not be exactly what you wanted to hear, and I'm sorry, it's just kind of the truth. Anyway, make sure to, down below in the comments, make sure to leave a suggestion for next time, because I'm always looking for new topics to speak about and to help you guys out with. Because remember, I'm here to help you guys grow, and all that fun stuff, and big heart, and all of that, blah blah blah, because I love you. Anyway, follow me on Twitter if you want to talk to me, or just tweet memes at me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Click the links if you want to see more from Freedom, and if you want to see more of my ugly mug, just click right here.